Nexus has been updated with several new modifiers enabling complex interactions between particles and seen objects and splines. You can also layer up sophisticated colouring effects with the brand new GPU colour modifier. Let's start with NX Follow Geo. This makes particles follow the surface or any object or even spline. So we'll drop in our wolf head, make a couple of adjustments and you'll see, yes, the turbulence is moving them, but they're following the surface. We can offset them from that surface to fine tune the look. Now let's turn this into a fluid sim. All we need to do is drop in an NX Fluids. Let's just leave it in default, hit play, and yes, there you go, a perfect fluid sim on the surface of our model. As well as following the surface of objects, we can also follow the edges of polygons. Let's just make our duck invisible. We can tighten up the animation by including some edge and smoothing. Let's get rid of that offset. And now we have these particles moving along those edges. Now let's add another fluid solve in. Here we've got an NX Fluids and a lightning fast water droplet sim. We can animate it back to surface and then back to edges again for really intricate effects. Multiple objects can be in one follow geo modifier, each with their own settings. So here as we bring the wolf closer to our duck, it's starting to draw in those fluid particles. We can then adjust each parameter separately per object. Let's change the duck into edge mode. We'll restart it and now we get that really nice water droplets effect as they're pulled onto the surface of the wolf. And you can layer this up and have as many different objects in one NX Follow Geo as you like, keeping the object manager nice and tidy. We can also drop splines into the NX Follow Geo. Let's put this flower spline in and hit play and we're gonna see this nice animation. We can then adjust the offset variation to get it looking like this. And it's the turbulence modifier which is giving us the nice movement, but it's following the edge of that spline. We can also use this on animated objects and splines. So let's just activate this vibrate tag and there we're getting some really nice dynamic movement of our particles as they're following that animated spline. And that is the fantastic new NX Follow Geo modifier. Now let's have a look at the NX Color modifier. This enables the coloring and layering of all of these different color types to our particle sims. So we'll start by adding a gradient by parameter layer. We'll map it to the speed of the particle, just make a few adjustments. And now our faster particles are yellow, slower particles are black. But now we're able to add more layers and blend those layers with the ones underneath. So look, let's add another gradient by parameter. We'll put it to the top. And this one will make it a black and white gradient. And we'll change the map of this one. We're going to map this to how far the particles have traveled. So because this is on top in our layer stack, it overrides everything. Let's just make some adjustments. And now if we change the blend mode to say multiply, it's going to make the particles at the beginning of the sim very dark. And as it lightens, it reveals that colorful gradient by parameter. Let's add another one. This time we'll duplicate that top layer and this one will set it to normal. And we're going to map this black and white gradient to a random noise. This is good for adding grainy detail. There it is. So now we'll go back to our blend modes. Let's change this one to minimum, just reduce the strength. And now we have that same blend, but a bit of random gritty noise in there. Finally, let's bring in one more layer. This time we're gonna bring in a set color, take it to the top. But instead of setting a single color, we're going to bring in a shader. And this means we can bring in a bitmap of the Insidium logo. Let's just make a couple of adjustments. We'll reduce the scale of that. We're gonna take off tiling, and if we hit play, we should reveal, yes, there's our logo. So now we can go to the blend mode. So let's set it to say multiply, and it reveals the colorful gradient below. It's a bit dark, let's change one of those to overlay. And yes, there is our colorful fiery gradient logo beneath our black particles. 
So as you can see, the new NX color offers huge potential and power in its ability to build, layer and blend coloring techniques over particle sims. Let's use another new modifier to get these very noisy, turbulent particles to cover this text spline. We'll make it a layer in the new NX Cover modifier, set it to use particle speed, and now we'll get this really stylish covering of our spline. You can of course use scene objects as well, here we've got the torus being covered over its polygon area by the particles. Let's change that, we can do points, edges and also object volume, so here it will fill the volume of that object with our particles. In this scene, we're covering our Insidium logo and we've got the particles covering the edges. But let's change that. There's a really cool mode called Particle Ray. And this one means that our particles will only cover the surface if they can directly see that surface point. So if we move this camera around to the back, you'll see all of that part of the object is occluded from the covering of particles. They can only cover where they can see. In this scene, our particles are covering our Insidium logo, but you can see we've got two other objects here. These can be dragged into our objects list as well, and now the covering is going to work in a sequence. We can make adjustments to this. If we adjust the hold time, we can get them to change objects more quickly. We can also add some variation so they don't all change at the same time. And we can change the mode. By default, like this, it's set to sequence where it runs through the objects in order, but we can change that. Let's have a look at object index where we can actually choose which object from the list it goes to. Zero will be the first on the list, and then we can cycle through them by changing the object index. And that is the new modifier NX Cover for covering scene objects and splines with our particles. NX Cover, NX Follow Geo, and NX Color are just some of the exciting new features for Nexus, giving you even more intuitive, artistic control over your particle sims. They're coming soon to Insidium Fused.